good morning. So, first things first, I found this nail in the road. There's a car right here. I don't know how often it moves, but it's within its path. And I could easily put a hole in the tire, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to throw that away. Just so it's not in the road. And it prevents somebody from having a bad day, so. Because I'm sure nobody likes to change their tire. I've never done it, but I can assume that it is not a fun task. It is 9 a.m. This very cloudy, rainy morning. But I will say I am enjoying the scenery, the vibrancy and the colors and the trees. It's just so pretty. The leaves that are falling, it's this beautiful color. I like it. It's fun. If you couldn't guess, I'm at work. Well, close to work. Haven't started working yet, but close to work. Uh, yesterday, love wasn't feeling good. I learned a big lesson yesterday, and we're kind of taking it day by day. Um, last week, I really struggled with being on time to work. I really struggled with wanting to go to work and thinking back on that now it's still alive but i'm actually doing better this week shockingly <laughs> yesterday i was on time for both of my shifts today i am on time i am an hour early for work which is yeah i don't clock in until 10. and then on top of that yesterday with my evening client my clocking app wanted to log me out so there's that that's a little bit of an annoyance rather than anything else but uh, I was clocked out I'm still clocked out I should probably call the office to make sure I can get clocked in and make sure that they got my clock in it was time yesterday um, it's a little windy it's not really cold it's more humid but I wanted to wear the jacket anyway. I surprisingly got out of the house on time, exactly when I wanted to get out of the house. I got out of the house at around like 7.40-ish, 7.40, 7.45-ish, somewhere around that time, just because Annie kept getting under my feet. Um, we have done a little more snuggle time, which is great. She is not a snuggler, but we try. We try. She's a snuggler when she wants to be, but she, we're working with it. Um, what else? What else? All is good, really. I mean, nothing to complain about. Everything's great. Um, I do have to make, I made a few phone calls yesterday. I gotta get back on the phone with one of them because they just did not answer. The phone call was like, you got a 40 minute wait time. I waited about 30 and then I had to go to work, so, yeah. Um, couldn't wait the extra 10 minutes before somebody could get to the phone, so I gotta call them back. And then I need to find the number so that I could call regarding my grandma on my mom's side. And then I gotta call the bank today because they were closed yesterday because of some holiday, no! Oh. Just got my drink. <laughs> got half of it left. Well, that's disappointing. Bye, Dr. Pepper. Still doing what I was doing in high school. Um. Yeah. Things are good, though. Things are fine. Everything's good. Nothing to report that's bad, anyway. Um. I will say getting out of the house early and kind of having everything packed and ready to go that I, way I can just throw it in my bag really helps. 
one of the videos on my list to do are or is like a wake up at 5 a.m. for like a week. Waking up at 5 when I can see it happening, but I also can't because I like to sleep in. And the last two days, I've been trying to make sure that I'm ready for work so that I can kind of take a few minutes to keep laying down, you know. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, everything's ready. Everything is good. Basically, all you got to do is hygiene stuff for yourself, get dressed get my lunch out of the fridge and feed, feed the cats and then I can be on my way. Say bye to Lovey and of course I'm on my way. I always wake him up and tell him I'm leaving and then I hope he has a good day. He doesn't work today so he's going to be sleeping in and honestly I am jealous of the fact that he gets <laughs> This is great weather to sleep too. Although we do like the rain. So if it were to rain, I would probably be like, let's go play in the rain. Just because that's such a cute day. Okay. Um. Ooh, it's already Tuesday, so, you know, that's good. Week's going by pretty good. Tomorrow is my sleep-in day, so I don't have to get up super, super early. But I may get up at 7 just to start the day. I want to get my desk clean, and I want to do a few other things. So I think I'm just, I may get up early tomorrow regardless of the fact that I have to work. But I think that's a good thing. As I said before, getting up anywhere between 7 and 8 or 9 is usually my wake up call. But if I start setting my alarms around like the end of 6, like 6 40, 6 50, about 20, 10 minutes. Four, seven, I think that'll give me a good kind of time to get up kind of deal. And then when seven o'clock hits, then that's like the whole get up. I'm still trying to work with six o'clock. Today it worked. It got me up. I stayed in bed until about seven something. And then got up, did what I had to do with the cats, did my hygiene stuff, got dressed, got my lunch. And was out the door within maybe 10, 15 minutes. Said bye to Levy. Said bye to Annie. And then left. There was some sort of accident at the bottom of the hill this morning. So I had to account for that. Um, and then they shut off the stoplights too. The, the, they shut off the lights. In that four-way intersection, that was like, oh. and I didn't notice it until I saw cars kind of just doing their own thing, and then I looked over at the light that ensures safe crossing, and yeah, it was off. Why that didn't hit me a lot sooner? That just doesn't look right. There's an ambulance, a wrecking truck, and two policemen parked down at the little corner, and yet. I'm expected to see the lights working. Don't know why two and two didn't click. Then again, the most I saw as I was coming down the hill was were the lights, so that makes sense. Couldn't put two and two together this morning. But we're here. I've got my lunch. I've got two shifts today, so that'll be fun. That'll be good. It'll go by fast. And I'm here on time, so if I'm here on time, I can make it there on time. Hopefully. The reason I've been late to my afternoon shift is because of the bus. I can't get down there fast enough to get on the first bus so that I can start heading that way to work. Which makes me about an hour late for work, so I have to stay about an hour later past my actual time. So I don't get home until like 7, almost 8 o'clock. And by 7 it starts to get dark. So that's why. Um, but yeah, this is it's kind of my deal. It's so low. May have wanted to wipe that first. It tastes dirt. Oh, where's that nail? I do not want someone to sweat. 
But yeah. Um, yesterday there was a new episode of Bob's Burgers. I was very happy to see that because usually I don't notice a new episode until Wednesday, and I'm when I'm like working because it'll pop up new episode, and I'll be like, oh, what? And then it, I look at the air time, and it's like it went on like a two days ago. I was like, oh, okay. Got a few things I'm looking forward to watching this week. A few of my favorite shows. A few of my favorite YouTubers post on certain days of the week. Rachel Ballinger has a new episode of her uncensored um, podcast. I think that'd be fun, but I don't think I could do it. I have to refer to my list. I gotta call the bank. I wanted to look through it with Levy, but he was not feeling his best. And we had a tickle fight last night. Pretty cute. We were just having less time together. Like I said, another thing that's been helping lately is us time. I just don't want it to take away from anything. Like, I don't want it to mess anything up regarding our relationship even though I think it's helping it because we're giving each other space which is probably what or well, it's what's needed to be done but it's also good for both of us to be there for one another when we know that we need each other can you get off of my drink please just wipe that on myself that's nice um but yeah that's the update